सब्सक्राइब कीजिए नेहरा क्लासेस यूट्यूब चैनल को और बेल आइकन को दबाइए हमारे लेटेस्ट वीडियोस के नोटिफिकेशंस पाने के लिए हाय गाइस हाउ आर यू वन अगेन वेलकम टू अवर यूट्यूब चैनल यू आर वाचिंग नेहरा क्लासेस एंड आई एम योर फ्रेंड विकास नेहरा हेयर फ्रेंड्स इन टूडे सेशन वी शेल डिस्कस द इंस्टॉलेशन एंड कॉन्फिग्रेशन ऑफ स्क्विड प्रोक्सी इन रेड हेड एंटरप्राइज लाइन एक्स सेवन और एट Squid proxy server is used for caching and forwarding the HTTP web proxy, and it has a wide variety of uses, including speeding up of a web server by caching the repeated requests, caching web, DNS, and other computer network lookups for a group of people sharing the network resources, and aiding the security by filtering the traffic. It primarily uses HTTP and FTP protocols. but it can provide the limited support for other protocols as well with the help of this squid proxy we can restrict or block several site sites in our local area network we can also set the work timings we can restrict the, restrict the download speed and we can also block the files with the help of this squid proxy so let's proceed with the configuration of it to configure squid proxy in your red hat machine you need to login in the machine as the root user and the local em repository should be properly configured in your machine if you don't know how to configure it you can watch my videos i have i will provide you the link of those videos in the description and in the i button as well after that you have to install the squid packages in your machine by using command yum install hyphen y squared this command will install all the required packages in the server after the successful installation of these packages you need to start the services for that you can run systemctl command systemctl start squared you need to enable the service as well because if your machine gets rebooted in that case the service will start at its own now you have to add the squid port in the firewall so for that we need to run firewall hyphen cmd command firewall cmd hyphen hyphen permanent hyphen hyphen add hyphen port is equal to the squid port number that is 3128 slash tcp it runs on tcp after that you have to reload the firewall i have already configured it once that is why it is showing as already enabled we have successfully reloaded the firewall with the updated rule now you must know the ip address of your machine so for that you must run the ip address or if config command and check the ip address because we will use this ip address in the configuration of the proxy server ip address of my machine is 192.168.1.109 now we will open the configuration file of the squid that is inside etc squid directory we are going to open it in the vi editor vim etc squid and squid.conf is the name of the file here go in the insert mode and set the rule you have to specify here acl local net source that is src after that you have to specify the ip address 192.168.10.109 and the subnet mask that is 24 and after this you need to enable it for that to enable the this rule you will use http http underscore access allow and local net you need to mention the exact name which you have used in the last line after this save the changes 
and reload the service restart the service system ctl restart squid now what we will do we will go on the client client machine and we can use any web browser i'm using firefox on my host computer here you need to go in the preferences option or in options tab and here you can search for the network click on settings here click on manual proxy configuration and specify the IP address of your proxy server that is 192.168.1.109 and specify the port number that is 3128 here after that mark the checkbox that is also use this proxy for FTP and HTTPS click OK now we are ready to test it let's open google google.com now you can see that we are able to access the google.com and this request is getting fulfilled through our proxy server so to verify this we can check the log of our proxy squ squid proxy you can use tail where log squid allow sorry access.log so this is the file you can open this where log squid access.log so here you can see that we are getting the requests through this IP so in this way we can use the proxy server as a caching server next time whenever we will open google.com so it will open so fast because of caching now you can block several sites so let me show you now I will tell you the method how can you block several sites in your LAN with the help of squid proxy so for that you need to open the configuration file again in the VI editor and you have to mention the block rule here so you can specify the block rule I will provide you all these commands and all these rules in the description of the video so you can copy it from there to apply the block rule you can mention ACL block sites you can write any name here after that you need to specify URL underscore regex and after that you have to mention inside double inverted comma the path of the files path of that particular file which will contain the details of the block uh, sites to be blocked after the after this in the next line you have to specify allow access and you have to mention deny to block these sites sites and you have to mention the same name which you have used in the previous command after this save the changes now let's go to the etc squid directory and see whether this file is there or not there is no block lists file let me open it again you should use the same name in both the both the files this is the file which will contain the details of the sites to be blocked now let's open it in the vi editor so that the new file is created here and here you need to specify the site's name so for that go in the insert mode suppose I want to block some social networking sites let's suppose facebook.com twitter.com and some online shopping sites like flipkart or amazon.com
dot amazon dot com save the file so what it will do it will create a file here and the path of this file we have already provided in the squid dot configuration file which will which has the details of these files which needs to be blocked now restart the squid service again so that it gets updated with the new rule system ctl restart squid so this will restart the service now let's go in the browser on the other machine and check whether we are able to open these files or not these sites or not so let's try to open facebook.com so you can see that it is not opening facebook.com and it is giving the warning as the proxy server is refusing the connections now try to open amazon.com again same let's try to open twitter.com so you can see that we are not able to open any site which we have mentioned in that block lists file check some different sites which are not there in that file so you can see that google is working but while the other sites which we have mentioned in the block list file that sites are blocked by the proxy server now i will show you how can we make the how can we make the entry for block files so again open the configuration file and here you need to specify uh, specify the details of files to be blocked so we have to set up the new rule for that acl block files you have to give the path url path underscore regress the, and you have to specify the path of block files and in the next line you have to enable this rule and to enable this rule same method will be used http underscore access deny block files so what will this command do this command will deny these files which are inside the this file block list dot acl now save the changes and restart the squid service again now make an entry for these files so open the block files in the vi editor and here you need to specify the details of files which you want not to be downloaded so i want to block the torrents and mp3 and mp4 means audio and video files so for that you can mention in this way backslash dot torrents mp3 dot star dollar so it will not allow mp3 mp4 3gp files to be downloaded now save this again restart the service and let's check let's go to any website now go to the web browser to test whether we are able to download these files or not let's go to the songs.pk website and check whether we are able to download some mp3 files from there or not so i'm going to i'm trying to download this mp3 file click on download you can see that it is giving the error it is not allowing us to download the mp3 files so in this way we can allow any file with the extension what we need to do we need to just make an entry in the configuration file for for the same and you can verify the same with the help of this tail var log squid access dot log now let's go and try some different options 
you can set the work hours with the help of this squid.conf file what you need to do you need to just mention the work hour timings and after that you have to enable the rule and you can also set the download speed with the help of squid.conf file what you need to do you need to just mention acl speed control source after that you need to provide the ip and subnet mask you can specify the delay pools delay pools 1 delay pools class 1 2 delay parameters you can set here you need to provide the details of uploading and downloading speeds which you want to set in bits and delay x after that you have to enable the rule for that you can use delay access allow speed control let me show you with these configuration settings let me first allow the acl work hours again open the file squid.conf file here go in the insert mode and set the work hour timings you can specify the time as per your requirement after that you can enable this with http access deny so in this time duration your proxy server will not work now save the changes after this after saving the file now you need to restart the squid service and now let's go to the web browser and try to access any site so here you will get the error as the proxy server is refusing the connections why because we have set the work timings during this duration proxy will not work so if you will remove it from there let me show you one more time just remove this entry for that you can comment you can comment these lines go in the insert mode and comment the work hours option save the changes restart the speed service and now let's test again so this time you will be able to access the internet you will be able to access the websites which you want to open so in this way you can set the work timings you can also set the speed control let me show you for this again open the squid.conf file go in the insert mode and here you have to mention acl speed control source ip and sub subnet mask and the details which i have already shown you you can set the upload and download speed limits and save the changes again restart the squid service and now if you will try to download anything you will not cross that limit which have you specified in your file so friends in this way you can configure squid proxy in your rhel 7 or 8 and you can use it as a caching server you can restrict the uh, websites you can limit the download speed you can block to download several files so it has a lot of features which we can use i hope you would have enjoyed the video if you find it useful for you then do share it with your friends and if you are new on our channel then do not forget to subscribe it and turn on the bell notification i will see you guys in any other session till then bye bye jain bande matram